Hi there folks, my name is Glenn Martinez and I'm talking to you from Olamana Gardens in Waimanala, Hawaii. What I want to share with you here today is a simple system. It consists of a horse trough here, 60 to 100 gallons is nice, 300 gallons is better, whatever you can do. These are little submersible pumps. You can just drop them in the water and you can hook this wherever you want the water to go. But my preferred method is to take the hose and hook it to a pipe like this, run it on the ground, and then run the water up to where I want it to be. If all of these are level, the water will come out even. Doesn't matter if the ground's going up or down, as long as these three are level, they'll get equal amounts of water. What we're showing you here is what we think is the simplest system to build anywhere in the world. It consists of five gallon buckets. You take a five gallon bucket, we like a colored bucket because it doesn't let light go through. That cuts down on the algae growth on the inside. It really does help a lot. Then on the inside of this, we put in a bucket like this. This bucket fits down inside of that bucket. This bucket, we have pre-drilled and have holes like this, if you can see through that, okay? So what you do there, when you put this bucket in, then you put the cinder in, it makes for a cinder bed. The cinder bed, where this water will come, it will fill up to here. When it gets to here, inside of here is a siphon. That's a pipe that goes up, goes over, and goes down. When the water comes up and hits the go over part, it falls down and creates a siphon, and it will suck all three of these dry, right down to this level. Notice that this bucket is below that bucket. So when you drain this bucket down to here, these are totally dry. That water comes into here. Now this water goes from one bucket to the next bucket to the next bucket, and these little net pots just hang down into it. They can be three inch diameter or two inch diameter. And a net pot just looks like this. Okay? So they thick. A three inch goes down quite a bit further than the two inch. Okay? That inch makes a big difference for reaching the water and having the water flow going adjusting. So folks, to recap, you got a fish tank, run a pipe across the ground, come up like this, have them level, go into here, have a double bucket routine like this with the cinder in it, the water fills up, siphon flushes down, goes to here, and then the water here goes from one to the next to the next, and then it overflows back here. And this pipe sets the level of how high or how low the water is going to be. And that's about it. I don't think it gets any easier than this. Um, common materials, cinder blocks, whatever you can to raise it up. I like to put the fish tank down on the ground. That keeps all of this lower. If this was sitting up on top of this deck, all these things would have to be higher. What we're trying to show you here is the relationship of height between the cinder bed going to the siphon going to the float bed. Now you can have 20 of these and you can have 20 of those. You can expand both sides of it. Anyway, thought you might find this interesting.